Well, as I suspected, the square plate is not a part of the rear motor housing. Uh, and everything just popped right off. I was really surprised. This wasn't pressed or, or really difficult to get off of here at all. So we'll see. And the front seems uh, loose too. So we're going to pull it and take a look at the rotor. So that's what we have so far. So here's the rest of the motor housing. And we're just going to pull them apart. The rotor came with it. Out comes the rotor. So we got the front of the motor housing. Um, and uh, the rotor itself. The rotor is solid, no hollow spots. And it's pretty substantial. Uh, the bearing looks so, you know, it's got, got marks. Let's see if you can see that. The bearing doesn't look perfect, right? But it's okay. And uh, we're going to try and get some of that off of there. The back side of the bearing. Uh, you know, same thing. It's got some, some marking. It doesn't feel too rough. There's a few little um, washer type deals on here, but not, let's see, there's the ones that are on the front are attached to the housing. So I'm going to try and remove those and we'll see, looks like just one was on the front. All right, so we're going to do a little cleaning and we'll come back. Oh, all right, so the rear housing came out pretty clean. I didn't use any spray or anything, I just kind of dusted it out with the uh, with the brush now the front side which you can tell because it's got this opening here well they both have an opening but well, you know it's the front because it's open for the shaft the back is closed as you can see so anyway this one has a little more um, discoloration in it it's just soot but uh, it seems to correspond with with this guy it seems to have um, some overspray from when they sprayed it gray. Um, this is the back of the motor. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I might hit this with a little, little spray on the inside, but it's kind of a rough surface. It's not that easy to clean. Um, and I don't want to make things worse. The uh, rotor looked good. There very, was very little dust on the rotor, dirt or dust or anything like that. So. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to hit it with some steel wool and try and clean off, you know, the shafts and make sure that they're nice. Now, I don't understand. I don't know if there's a... There doesn't seem to be much of a um, recess for an oiling area. I will try to put a little oil in there, but I don't, I don't know what... Uh, what that would accomplish. I'm just going to try to oil the bearing um, when I reassemble it, but I don't know if there's... We'll see. If the oil goes into here, then maybe we'll try and fill it as much as it'll take. Um, and there's some sort of a little plastic washer in here that I don't know if that should come out or not. Um, so I don't know. This is all new to me on this one, tell you what. So who knows what's if this is really supposed to hold oil or not? I don't really know, but uh, I guess we'll we'll try. I don't think this is a washer on the front. I think this is metal all the way out to the edge. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. Not sure exactly what's going on here. You know, I mean, this obviously wasn't really intended to be cleaned or oiled. They just figured you'd run it and then buy another one, right? At least that's what they hoped you'd do. Um, so I'm going to try and dust off the windings uh, and make sure that they look good. And then we might be on the fast track to just getting this damn motor back together, right? Uh, so we'll see what happens. All right, here's the back of the uh, stator. And uh, I got that dust and stuff off of there. Again, it's got some overspray from when they spray painted the uh, motor uh, at the factory. But the windings all look good and coppery. Same with the front, you've got a bunch of that overspray or whatever, but everything else looks cool. There wasn't all as much dust in there as you'd have thought. Um, it's possible the guy I bought it from blew it out with a compressor, and I did go and use a little cleaner, just 409, frankly, I don't, it didn't really matter, uh, to clean out some of, the, some of the stuff in here. And I got some of it off of the front face of this. This is where the washers bear against that. So at least I got some of that gunk off. 
Um, next, we're going to clean the. I like to clean the screws a little bit. Uh, the two screws that came out of here. I'm just going to hit them with some WD-40 and get some of the gunk off before I put all this back together. Other thing we're going to do is I'm going to try to clean off the shafts a little bit with some uh, uh, steel wool and see if we can get a better finish on them. Uh, but it came apart pretty easy, so it's really not that big a deal. We'll see how it goes. All right, so as you can see, please focus. Uh, I hit this with a little uh, steel wool. Got some of the surface rust off of here. It's nice and smooth. Uh, the bearing area looks the same, really, but it doesn't. There's no lip, and it doesn't feel that unsmooth. It, you know, it doesn't feel too rough. Uh, the back backside came out nice and clean. Uh, I got some of the surface rust off the very end there, so it looks pretty good. And uh, we're gonna uh, move forward with the motor reassembly. All right, so here we go. I'm just uh, using a little rubbing alcohol. You can see there's definitely stuff comes off of here when you do that. Um, just to clean the again this isn't technically a bearing surface but it seems like the washers rub up against there so it's nice to get that cleaned off and then we'll go inside and work on the internal bearing here this is the rear of the housing and you see we do get some crap coming out of there we'll do a little more there's some stuff coming out of this in the little lip in there you see that um, but I'm just going to focus on the what looks like to be the bronze bearing that's on the inside there. I'm not going to worry too much about the other thing. Okay, do one dry one. And then that looks, you can't see very well, but that looks pretty good. All right, we'll do the front. Front side. This don't got to be crazy perfect, it's, you know. Again, I've always said, you know, the fact that anyone's doing this at all is way ahead of the game, right? Just to get an idea, we're definitely getting some grease and crapola off of there. And that's what we want to do, whatever we can to do that. So now we'll go for the internal actual bearing a little dry one and we'll just visually double check it all right I got a little zoom spout in this cup and I'm putting a little oil on these four washers I cleaned them off and got any gunk that was on there off of them. Uh, there was one on the front, three on the back. Um, there maybe should have been more. Who knows? You know, with these old fans, you don't know if it's been a part or not. Who knows? So, anyway, these are oiled and prepped, and we're ready to start putting this deal back together. Now, here's the question. Should there have been oil in here or grease? really hard to say on the front of the motor like I was saying before there's a little fitting like a little plastic washer deal I think to keep the bearing in place who knows it's an unusual little setup uh, and we're going to try to apply some zoom spout inside that recess to see if it accepts it and if it does we'll put as much as we think we can get in there oh, it doesn't seem to be taking a lot inside there over on the front here. Hmm. I don't know if it took any oil in there or not. It's hard to say. All right, so we'll oil the back up a little bit. I'm not sure that any oil is actually going inside that area. Um, it doesn't seem like it, so I'm not that hopeful about that. Uh, I'm also not that worried about it. All right, some oil did go into the recess. I, uh, I was putting some down in and then waiting for it to drip in, and then it kind of moved it around this way, and I was able to get some oil in there. It didn't accept a lot uh, on the front one, so this is the rear one, and I'm going to try and do the same thing. It's not likely that you'll be able to see this, but I'm going to try. What I was doing was putting a little oil in here 
and then it kind of welled up and then I was spinning this around until the oil went inside and, and there it went. So now I add a little more. And I was just turning this thing and waiting for the oil to sort of seep in. I wasn't accepting a lot of it, so there it goes. Okay, a little more. Seems like as you turn it around, there's a spot it gets to where it just whoosh, goes right in there. Ooh, too much. Okay. And we're not going to go crazy here, but we do want to make sure there's some oil in there, obviously. And we'll wipe up any excess, obviously, that we get in there trick is to not over oil so anyway that's what I was doing uh, I'm not sure it's making much of a difference but that's the uh, that's the deal all right now I've got it together correctly this has got to be like this so that little box can go here where the wiring was um, and uh, I want to try to make sure that I get it exactly where it was before um, we might have to go back to the video from previous. It's kind of why I record this stuff, make sure we're getting it together right. Uh, so we're just going to hit it with uh, some oil on either side of the shaft, reapply the uh, washers, and see if it'll go back together. Okay, we're looking like something now. Let's see if we can do this without losing the washers and all of that. In it goes. Very nice. Okay, let's put the top on. Now, we just really want to line up the holes, I guess. I don't know if it matters which way this goes. Slides down nice and easy. And there we go. So we'll double check that our holes are lined up for our nuts. And uh, we'll see what we got. We'll see if the bearings are lined up. You could see these are the ones that were, so we kind of want to line those up. So maybe I'll lift this up, spin it here, see how that looks. That's close. And there we go. And it seems to spin pretty freely, like that. Very good. All right, so we got something there. Uh, we'll see if we can get it together. All right, we've got these finger tight, and it still is lined up nice. Everything's moving the way it's supposed to. That's exactly what you'd want. There's no noise, no binding. Seems pretty good. So we're going to tighten these up and see if we're still at that point. There you go, still pretty free. I like the looks of that, stand it up on end. And it seems pretty cool, I like that. Um, so, we'll finish tighten that up a little bit extra, just to be sure it's where we want it. Um, you know, you don't gotta get out the torque wrench or anything, but let's make sure it's tight, double check. That we're still free and we are we like that i like that that's good all right cool so we got something now hopefully we put everything back in the right orientation so that it goes back into the motor correctly um you know well that's again like i said it's a live and learn situation we're going to find out one way or the other if we did a good job all right so there you go so the motor's back together uh, i washed out the uh housing too it's in the yard drying so we have made some progress um, I got some good advice on the last video about the cord and about uh, reusing those little uh, caps. Um, I'm glad I didn't throw them out. Thanks, guys, for your advice on that stuff. Uh, it's, uh, it helps out a lot. Uh, it makes me feel confident, more confident to do this stuff. 
um, being someone who's not really trained in it or anything like that. So thanks, guys. Y'all are pretty cool. So have a good day. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your help.